Cheers guys, good afternoon for another video review for a gear best product with my channel. Today we are reviewing the Lito Color Li 202 charger. As you can probably see right away, this has some very very si uh, very very um, or many many similarities with the Lito Color Li 100 chargers. And I also think so because the packaging is ideal and the basis of the of the charger itself, the way it works, it's exactly the same. The only difference is you have two slots and you have uh, two, um, let's say, uh, two charging indications for each battery. There's even only one button, and you can char and you can choose in between half an amp and one amp. But we're gonna get to this later. The whole thing came shipped in the usual white bubble wrap from um, white bubble wrap envelope from Gearbest. Taking out the product, what we have here is a charger itself. And we have the, the normal micro USB cable for the charging and other applications you can use personally. So this is the package which comes in. Very nice. Feels very very. Doesn't feel cheap, let's say. Feels very nice in the hand. Feels very soft. Very nice. Let's put this by side. We don't need this right now. Comes in a small manual. This is on Chinese, and here you have it in English just have some basic information about how to use it, what it can do, what it cannot do, what kinds of battery it can charge, how you should charge them, which current you should charge them depending on their capacity and so on and so on. But it all inf information is on the product page. So here is the charger. This is the appearance. So it looks very, very nice. You have a very nice uh, sliding negative bow which is uh, exactly the same as in the Lee to Color Lee 100. I don't have one here right now for comparisons, but I'm telling you it's exactly the same. You turn it around, here it the says uh, the, uh, the, the name Lee to Color Lee 202, and it says the output is uh, charging two batteries, the output is two times one amp the maximum. And this has the, particular the particularity exactly as on the uh, Lee 100, it has not only the input for charging the batteries, but it also has an output from one of the cells, which I just saw right now, because it says here for USB output on this side. So probably this um, this cell which is in here is not going to provide power for the USB output. But one cell is enough, you can change them afterwards, so no problem. But here you have an output of 5 vo volts at 1 amp, so you can charge, for example, your phone or any other USB device you need to charge. So it also acts as a power bank. So let's go ahead. I want today I want to charge, for example, this 26650s from SoShine. This 5.5 amp hours uh, amp hour capacity batteries. So I'm just going to plug them in on the uh, for USB output only side. And very nice. He's telling me the status of charge. So this one should be full. Let's just try the other one I have here because this one should be empty. Just put it in, very nice, lights all up, and it also tells me it's full. So I actually believe that this um, this display is for the battery. But we'll see that in a second when I'll, t when I'll test the voltage of the battery. Let's put them in on this side and I want to see what happens. Nothing happens, exactly. Okay. So let me just go ahead and check the voltage of the batteries just to make sure just to make sure they are not full. I cannot imagine that they are full. They should be actually empty. So let's see. Let's have a look. So here we go. As you can probably see, four volts about. Okay. And the other one we are also gonna test. These are actually brand new so shines. It's also at about four. At about four volts. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. I also want to check this small uh, nickel metal hydro nickel metal hydride AAA battery just to check. It's at come on. It's at about 1.15, so it's almost full. And then I just have two Panasonics here. I just want to make sure I can test the output and the input just to make sure. It also pulls all the charge and so on, but you're going to see this in a second. So this one has 3.5, this one is an empty cell, and this probably also has about 
3.65 is also an empty. So we have two empty cells for today. Very nice. So we don't need this anymore. For right now, I just want to check if it tells me anything if I put in uh, regular AAA. It doesn't. Very nice. So here we go. Let's check what it tells me at a 3.6 volt. Yes, it tells me it's about at 50%. Very nice. And if I put this one in, also about 50%. This is very nice. So it works. The, the status of charge about. Okay. Now before I test the output, I want to test the charging capabilities. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the charger of my Lati Li one s which has an output of over 2 amps at 5 volts. I'm going to plug in my charge uh, doctor, just to see the amperage is going to be drawing. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take this cable, plug it in over here, plug it in on onto the charger, or in the charger, and you can see it all lighting up very nice. Now it's set to half an amp, I'm going to set it to one amp. Just press the button for three seconds, and it's going to show, or it's going to change to the other amp amperage charging setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in just one cell to see the charging quick, the sh charging speed, I'm sorry. Well, let's plug both in, let's just see what it can do. So with one plugging, one charging, let's say, I have my charging on 5 volts, and we are drawing 0.66 amps. Okay, it's actually quite quite low, let's say, a bit low, but don't ask me why. I don't know why. Supposedly, it should be drawing 2 amps right now. Well. Let's try it with the other batteries. And I have to admit, these uh, in here, they are very, very, as you can see, I, I barely can move them. This one is actually quite stuck in there, because these are the longest 18650s you can find on the market. And so they, go, they are very, very limited. But you can still get them in and out. It's just very, very tight. Millimeter more, and you couldn't get them in. But that's life. <laughs> Let's just see if we can charge this one small AAA nickel metal hydride. It's going to tell me nickel metal hydride. Correct. Very nice. You can see it flashing. And it's probably going to jump to full almost. Well, not all the way. But there we see it's charging. And it's drawing how much? 5 point point through 0.5 amps. 0.6 amps. I want to over current this thing. Let's just try one of the big boys just to see the difference, if there is any difference. Okay, here we see the power, and now it's just lifting up up to the one amp, hopefully. As I say, I believe this charges. I have the Li 100s, I have a few of them I order, and they work just perfectly. I, I haven't had any issue with the Li 100. So I believe these will also be very nice. Okay. So there we go. Just gonna take this out. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the cable. I'm actually gonna take the whole charge doctor and I'm, pl I'm gonna plug it in on the output side. So here we go. And I'm gonna plug in any of the batteries on the for USB output side. So there we go. Now tell me the status. It's fully charged. I have on the output I have exactly Five volts, 5.05, which is very very accurate. And this is a small contact issue with my. No, it's actually not. The, the just shut down and it's waiting for a command. If you need it, just press the mode button and it will reactivate. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna find a load here. I need to find a load. Okay. There we go. I have, for example, my small USB light, and if I plug it in. And just press the mode button, there we go, and it's lit up. You can see it's going to be drawing 0.16 amps, it's very, very probable. There we go, 0.1718 amps, which is totally normal for this USB light, and I believe there is really a 1 amp output. Once charged my phone on the Li 100, and I had 1 amp coming out. 
about uh, point nine eight nine five about so this is one m we round it up so just to resume this is a very very nice charger I have to admit um, comparing or let's say knowing that it's the same family as the Li 100 which I already used for some time it only can be a good charger it has a very good appearance, the material is exactly the same, o also the sides look exactly the same, the back looks exactly the same, it's just a little wider and then the front. The only difference is you have the two sliders. So this makes me feel very confident about the charger. The charger costs about six dollars and something, just slightly over six dollars. The link to this product is going to be in the video description as usual. And I hope, and I just have to say, I hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned there are going to be many more videos coming up so this is the charger thank you very much for watching enjoy your evening cheers